when I approached this opera, I knew right away that I wanted to incorporate North Carolina music into it. I wanted to be specific. I wanted to be local. I wanted, and you know, as much as look, I, I don't have a time machine and I can't go back to when Omar was brought up to Fayetteville and to know exactly what he heard, but I feel like I had the best chance of many <laughs> to like have a line into that because of my experience with Joe. This is from North Carolina. My mentor, Joe Thompson, who was 86 when I met him. He's an um, African-American fiddler, one of the last uh, of the old style, learned from his father. It's a, it's a long line that goes all the way back to the time of slavery, and this is a tune that I learned from him. And so that's why I put it in this. It's about as close as I can get to what Omar would have heard, you know, um, in, in a way that's authentic to me. But it's, um, I can't do it without the banjo, but anyway. Oh, corn liquor was the cause of it all. Oh, corn liquor was the cause of it all. Oh, corn liquor was the cause of it all. Oh, corn liquor was the cause of it all. I got drunk, fell off the wagon. Oh, corn liquor was still on dragon. I got drunk, fell off the wagon. Oh, corn liquor was still on dragon. I got drunk. Fell so off what the I did wagon. is I took one of Joe's tunes and I incorporated it into the opera. And there's a dance and there's this, this idea of enslaved communities being these three-dimensional things, you know? They had music and they had dance and they had ways of having joy, ways of finding connection with each other that had nothing to do with their enslavers. And it's important to have that feel now because you're going to be dancing. Just to let you know.